know, this is just gonna look horrible. Just, hey, welcome to my shoot today. Chinese all over the world is gonna get ready to celebrate the Lunar New Year. And here's an amazing thing about the Lunar New Year. Neighbors and friends and relatives are starting to send out hampers like this. These are gifts. Inside there you get fruits, cookies, cakes, and these are all amazingly decorated. So my boss actually got this from the neighbor in the office studio. And she thought that, would you like to take some photos and perhaps do a tutorial about this? So that's what exactly we are doing. Tashin came up with this idea that why not we just try with two smartphones. This is a Android Samsung S23 and this is an iPhone. So what we're going to learn in this episode is simple. We're going to try out the raw of both these phones and compare it to the non-raw version of the photo. Use LED lights. And I like to take shots like this. This is a shot that I saw on Facebook this morning. I was totally impressed by the photographer's shot of this. So I was thinking like, why not we do something like this? Really close up shot and also loose shot and learn how we build on the lights by adding LED lights. I'm in a very small space just at the back of my classroom because the studio is occupied with another shoot right now. So I just want to show you that even though having a small space, you can take amazing shots with your smartphone. The first thing that Tashan did was to help me to decorate this with Chinese New Year theme, red color. So there's a lot of tablecloth that she did and he actually went to the door and pulled this harmony knot down, which is quite cool. We're going to put this right here to complement as foreground, slant this, and there's a table runner that he folded. So there's a lot of red here. And one thing I can tell right now is if I don't set up the light correctly, I will not be able to discern all this red color. So the first thing I'm gonna do is turn off all the lights and see how it looks like with the first shot with no light. In fact, there is still one light there, which is the main light so that the video camera can see me. So I'm going to turn off that light as well. This is practically how dark it is. Like LED light is really changing the photography world right now. The only one light I have is this down light that I have in this classroom right here. So it's shining directly top down, but I can guarantee you one thing. A lot of students actually ask me, do I need to turn this off? If you turn this off, you cannot see. So as long as all your brights is brighter than that light, you're going to be fine. So what I'm going to do is to turn on the main light, back on the video light so you can see me. So I've got to learn to work with that. That light is going to be there all the time. So I'm going to pretend that it's the ambient light. Now here's the problem. When you have such a big light bouncing off the ceiling just to light up the whole room, you're going to get specular highlight like this, mirror reflection of the light on this glossy paper here that won't work. So how are you going to solve this problem? Just make sure that you focus on this and I'll show you how you do this. I'll head on to the video light and all I need to do is just swivel the video light away to the left. See whether it works? It's still there. Then simple. I know one thing will surely work is that if you swivel it all the way to the back. Good. So as days goes by, you realize that you are taking video of your shooting photo and you need a big ass light like this and bouncing it to the top just won't work and start giving you reflection on glossy surfaces. All you need to do is just turn it this way and this is where it works. I'm going to lock it down. Though it's not as bright as it's supposed to be, but all you need to do is just adjust the power, make it brighter. After all, it's just for a video and you can always increase ISO there. So that solves the problem. No more glossy on this piece of paper here. Not only that, it's good enough to behave like an ambient light. So what I need to do now is I realize that the material of this hamper basket is rattan. So I need to bring out the texture. So how do you do this? One of the best way to bring out texture like this in product shoot is to have backlights or side lights. As you can see, I've got one LED light here and one LED light here. These are the older generation of LED lights and they are BD. They look like this. This is the old Amaran aperture. This is the diffusion panel. That's what you call this. So all I need to do is just slide this in and put this to the side. Imagine this is 12 o'clock. So where the photographer is pointing is always called the 12 o'clock. So I am at six o'clock. So I'm gonna place this LED light at about 
7 o'clock. So when I turn this on, this is how it looks like. This is how it looks like without. With this rear light that bring out texture on right now, I know one thing which I'm going to share with you, really important. Whenever you're having product shoot, even for portraits, always have a pair of this. So I have two, one at the 7 o'clock and the other one at 5 o'clock. Simply amazing. It just brings out that outline, bring out the surface texture and also separate it from the background. So what's left now is to really have fun. Let's try hard light. Why do I try hard light? Because when you have hard light on really colorful, vivid texture surface like this, you're gonna make them pop like crazy. Let's really flirt this with light. So we now have two back lights and big, huge front light as well. I wonder how it looks like when I turn them on. So this is the one on the right, full power, 100% LED light, COB LED light. And I'd like to say a big thank you to people at Cam TV for sending us this light. It's one of my favorite workhorse because it's solidly built. Hey, did you watch this episode where we fully review this light? So this is the light that's lighting up the right side of the basket right now. Ouch, see how amazingly bright Cam TV's LED light is, the 310B. So to counter this, the video camera just had to increase aperture value, f11, and that is just one light. So touch and get ready, I'm gonna on the other light. And this one is one of the first LED light that we got the past two years after COVID. This is the Cobol CL100. I'm gonna press this light, turn this on. Yeah, because the Cobol is a little bit darker. So this is how bright LED lights are these days. And you notice that even though for something that's small, how bright am I now? This is like, I'm gonna go blind if I stand here. <laughs> and why do I like to use bright lights? When you have bright lights, you can shoot at a higher F number and it's gonna bring out all these details and also create a lot of shadows. So when you have highlight shadow, highlight shadow, you've got a huge and wide dynamic range that's easy to work with. Let's see how they look like now in photos. And viewers, if you're my premium courses and all access subscribers, you'll learn how we can remove the background and replace them looking like this, just like how we saw Laureen Kuo's product shoots. So I just want to say thank you to all of you viewers for watching this episode and I hope you learned this technique called building on your lights by just adding one light at a time and see how that will help you to create stunning photos by just using your smartphone. So to all the viewers, Gong Hei Fa Choi, Gong Si Fa Chai, and I wish you a great Chinese New Year. And don't forget, during the Chinese New Year holiday, it's a great time for you to visit my e-learning website and check out the videos and e-learning content that we have. Check out the All Access subscription and also premium courses. And if you love what I taught here, you may want to check out product photography. So thank you. And YouTube viewers, please head on to this beautiful red button here. Click subscribe because I truly need your help. Look at all the videos that we have made over the years, but the number of subscribers that we have is just not doing justice to our good effort. So I hope you click subscribe and I'd love to hear your comments and also suggestion what you want to learn and what kind of things that you want to shoot for photos or videos. My name is Andrew, see ya. <laughs> he wanted an Ang Pao packet, Tasha and I got an Ang Pao packet. What the hell is this? <laughs> Why is that square there, right? Well, I actually wanted red paper, so I cut it out. Why do you why do you want a red packet? Forget it. <laughs>